Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send WhatsApp message using Microsoft Excel. So suppose we are launching a new product and now what we want is that we want to send WhatsApp message to all our customers. So for that we have a data in our Microsoft Excel and we are adding all the details of our customer in Microsoft Excel. Now whenever we are going to add detail of a new customer in Microsoft Excel, then automatically we are going to send a message on WhatsApp to that particular customer. So for this, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the message on WhatsApp and for my objective, I have to build a connection between Microsoft Excel and WhatsApp Cloud API. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and action. In trigger application, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel. In action application, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can send WhatsApp messages using Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, I'm keeping data of all my customer with their name and WhatsApp number. And recently I have launched a new jewelry. So what I want is that as I keep adding my customer data in Microsoft Excel, then automatically I should send a message to the customer on WhatsApp for my new product launch. And for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API which is an official API platform for WhatsApp by Meta. So by using WhatsApp Cloud API, your number will not get blocked by Meta. Now here, how I can send messages on WhatsApp automatically by using Microsoft Excel. For that, what I need to do is, I need to use a software that is Pabli Connect. So with the help of Pabli Connect, I'm going to build a connection between Microsoft Excel and WhatsApp Cloud API in such a way that whenever I'm going to add the detail of a new customer in Microsoft Excel workbook, then automatically a message should be sent on WhatsApp to that customer. So I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills and how I can build this connection and how I can use Pabli Connect. For that, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you just have to click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of time and you will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to sign WhatsApp message using Microsoft Excel. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account. And here I'm going to use this particular folder of WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to click on create. And it will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to select Microsoft Excel here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new row in worksheet will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Microsoft Excel with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click here on this connect button. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting Microsoft Excel, I have to click here on this connect with Microsoft Excel button. As I have already logged into my Microsoft account in my browser, so it has detected that. So what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I just need to click on accept to give access to my account. And here my connection is successful. And now what I need to do is I need to select my workbook and the worksheet. So for selecting the workbook and worksheet, what I need to do is I need to take you to my Microsoft Excel workbook. And here, this is the workbook that I'm going to use. And the name of my workbook is customer contact details. And we are using sheet one. 
So here in this workbook, I have these three columns like first name, last name, and the WhatsApp number. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to map this in Public Connect. So let's go back to Public Connect. And now for selecting the workbook, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, you'll find all the workbooks that are connected with your Microsoft Excel account. So in this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for my workbook, which is customer contact details. So I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to select this workbook of customer contact details. And I only have one worksheet in this workbook. So that is already selected. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test to quiz button. And here I have received this data. So here in this data, I have the first name of my customer, which is demo. I have the last name, which is user and I have the WhatsApp number. So here I have received this data of my customer, but if you don't receive this data instantly, then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response. And within eight hours, Microsoft Excel is going to send you the data. So this is the polling time of Microsoft Excel. And within every eight hours, Microsoft Excel is going to search for the new data that is going to add in the workbook and automatically it is going to send that data to Public Connect. So you are going to get all the data that you are going to fill in your Microsoft Excel in eight hours. But if you want to reduce this polling time, then what you need to do is you need to contact Public Support team and you can reduce this polling time. So this is a polling based response. So I have received this response. Now what I need to do is I need to send a WhatsApp message automatically to this customer that I have launched a new product. So for that, what I need to do is I need to set up my action tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to select WhatsApp Cloud API here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send template message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Public Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I'll click on add new connection. And for connecting WhatsApp Cloud API, what I need is I need a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So how I can find these details and how I can set up WhatsApp Cloud API account. For that, what you need to do is you need to open this hyperlink by clicking here on this learn more button. And this hyperlink will take us to the Pabli forum. And in this forum, you will find all the instruction of how you can connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect and how you can set up WhatsApp Cloud API account. So you can follow all these instructions to connect WhatsApp Cloud API. And I have already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And now I need a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So for these details, I have to take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here I have all these details like my access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to paste that in Public Connect. And before using these details, what I need to do is I need to first refresh this access token. And as this is a temporary access token, that's why I have refreshed this. So I'm going to copy all these details now. And I have added all these details here. So I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my template and in the template, I have the message that I want to send to my customer on WhatsApp. So if you have not created any template, then what you need to do is you need to go back to your WhatsApp Cloud API account and you need to open this hyperlink by clicking here on this here button. And this hyperlink will take us to WhatsApp manager where you will find all the message templates that you have in your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And you will find all the templates that you are going to create in WhatsApp Cloud API. So for creating a new template, what you need to do is you need to click here on this create template button. And after clicking on this, you have to follow all the steps and you have to customize the message that you want to send to your customer. And after customizing the message, you need to take the approval for your template from Meta. So here I have this template of new product launch and I have take approval of this template. So I'm going to show you this template. So this is my message template. And in this, I have this message that I want to send to my customer. And in this, I have this particular variable. So in the place of this variable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the name of my customer. And every time I'm going to add a new detail of a customer in my Microsoft Excel workbook, then automatically I'm going to use the data of that customer. And I'm going to use the name of that customer here in this variable. So this variable is going to change every time I'm going to receive a new data from Microsoft Excel. So this is the variable and I have this message that I want to send to my customer. So I have to take you back to Public Connect. And now I have to select my template. So for selecting the template, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the templates that I have in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. 
and here I'm going to use this particular template of new product launch. So I'm going to select this and here my language code and template ID is already selected. Now here I have all these tabs. Now what I need to do is I need to first give the recipient mobile number. So I have received the recipient mobile number from the response of Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to use that number and I'm going to map that number here so that I can send WhatsApp message to that particular number. So here I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open this response of Microsoft Excel and here this is the WhatsApp number of my customer. So I'm going to map this. And now I have this tab of header image URL and body field one. So in the header image URL, what I need to do is I need to give the image that I want to send with my message. So I want to send an image of the product that I'm going to launch with my message. So what I need to do is I need to give the publicly access URL of that particular image and I have to give that image URL here. And also I have to add this image in my template in WhatsApp cloud API too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my image URL here. So this is my image URL and this is a publicly accessible image URL. Now what I need to do is I need to fill body field one and in body field one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the name of my customer. So this is the tab of my variable. So here I have to map the name of my customer. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Microsoft Excel and here I have the first name, which is demo. I'm going to give a space and I'm going to map the last name, which is user. So I have mapped my customer detail here and I have mapped all the required details. Now what is going to happen is that as I have mapped all these details here and I made these details dynamic. Now, whenever I'm going to receive a new response of a customer from Microsoft Excel, then automatically all these details are going to get replaced and I'm going to receive new details of the customer in real time. So here I have filled all the required details. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a message automatically to my customer on WhatsApp. Now to check this, I'm going to open WhatsApp and here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this new message. So I'm going to open this message and here we can see I have received this message. So this message was sent to demo user. So this was the name of the customer that I had as a data in my Microsoft Excel workbook. And I have used that data automatically to send the message on WhatsApp to my customer. So this is the message and the message is it's Aloha Jewels here with an important announcement. How would you feel if we tell you that you can get up to 50% off? We have a brand new product coming out in two weeks. We wanted to give you the heads up because there will be a great early bird price and excellent discounts. You had hate to miss out on them. The launch date is 1st May 2024. Get ready to shop with us because these offers are going to make you lucky. Regards Aloha Jewels. So here we can see that this was the message that I had in my template in WhatsApp cloud API and automatically by using that template, I have sent this message to my customer on WhatsApp. And I have sent this message to the customer that I had in my Microsoft Excel workbook. So here my connection between Microsoft Excel and WhatsApp cloud API is working successfully. And whenever I'm going to add a new detail of a customer in my Microsoft Excel workbook, then automatically I'm going to send a message on WhatsApp to that customer about my new product launch. So now whenever I'm going to add new details of customers in my Microsoft Excel, then automatically Microsoft Excel is going to process all these data and it is going to send the data to public connect within eight hours. And I'm going to receive all the data of the customer that I'm going to add in Microsoft Excel. And by using those data, I'm going to send a WhatsApp message of new product launch to all those customers. So here we have created this connection between Microsoft Excel and WhatsApp Cloud API in such a way that whenever we are going to add a detail of a new customer in Microsoft Excel, then automatically we are going to send a WhatsApp message to that particular customer. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Microsoft Excel and my trigger event was new row in worksheet. Then I have set up my action tab and my action application was WhatsApp Cloud API and my action event was send template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just this application, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com 
and if you have any issue with the pricing then you can visit this link and if you like this video then please like share and subscribe thank you